Hey everybody, this is Tracy. Today I will be making a recipe that I saw on a video that You Love Megs did. It was a video where she made some type of chicken and I forgot what she called the name of it. But uh, I think it's the, I will post a link to the video in the description box of this one. But I had had some, some um, drumsticks out and I wanted to go ahead and do a, because I needed to go ahead and cook them up anyway so they won't get spoiled or anything. So I seen her do this this uh, recipe and I said, well, sure, why not? I might as well try it too and that way I could get rid of these wings. Okay, so, I mean, these drumsticks, I'm sorry. So first I want to do is I'm going to show what all I'm going to put into mine. We're going to have some Frank's um, Red Hot, Extra Hot, Hot Sauce. We have, I have, is the Wishbone Ita Robusto Italian Dressing, and garlic powder, pepper, and um, Lowry Seasoning Salt. First thing we do is to put the, we put the um, Italian Dressing on first. So, one over here. I should have opened everything up before I did this one. Okay, but we're going to pour that on there. And it's going to give us the... I was hoping that this little pan be... I'm hoping that this little pan be big enough. And what you do is just take it and you pour it over all the chicken, you know, for the seasoning. Okay? The second thing we're going to do is use the... Um, the hot sauce. Look at me. I can't, I'm tired to them, guys. You're going to use the hot sauce and you're going to just sprinkle that on the chicken as well. And you just sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Because what happens, guys, this will cook on your chicken okay it will this is your flavoring I mean, I'm, I'm more right-handed than I am left-handed so so you could put on there you could put as much of it on your chicken as you like if you're hot sauce free then load your chicken up I want to make sure I got enough of the salad dressing in there as well okay okay my next thing I'm going to use is um, the seasoning salt the reason why <clears throat> Excuse me. The reason why I put the salad dressing and the hot sauce on first because if I had to put the seasoning on first, then the only thing that the, the seasoning would have did was was wash right on off the chicken into the juice. So you want your seasoning to be on your chicken. You don't want it to wash off on the juice. So you just sprinkle you just a little bit, just on some chicken, you know. Okay, just do a little sprinkling here. Okay, then the next thing is the pepper. Okay, just sprinkle, sprinkle, just sprinkle you a little bit on there. So you will see what it is. Okay, and the next thing you do is you put your um, garlic powder on there and you just just sprinkle it on the chicken like this okay so that is it and what you want to do is put your stove on either um, 350 or 375 so I cook mine on 350 right now so the stove has already preheated and everything so it's ready for the chicken to go in so I will open up the door as you can see that big hot stove Okay, and this is how the chicken looks. And she said that the chicken only takes like about a good hour to cook. Okay, so within about a good so within about a good 20 minutes, you want to come back and check your chicken to make sure that um, you know, that the water hasn't ran out the pan and um and that you know it's browning the way it's supposed to be with different stoves that it do vary so it depends on your stove um but you uh usually the meal shouldn't take no more at least in an hour so within that hour you know you check your chicken if you want to flip it over 
or you know season it or whatever then you can but i will be back once the chicken has when it's time to check it i'll be back stay tuned okay guys i am back i have took the chicken out to do a check to make sure everything is going okay with it at this time if your chicken seems to be on that dry side this is a time where maybe where you could take a tablespoon here i'm trying to get this little strap thing out of the way this is a time where you can take a tablespoon and maybe like like pour the seasoning the juice over the chicken like this and just move it on and if you want to flip your chicken over you can but I look at I'm kind of like Megan on this part by the chicken is already in the seasoning on that side I don't really think that it needs it so I'm just going to go ahead and just season this on down like this um, Maybe move it around a little bit to just play with it, just to just move it around. That you want to kind of like put, because you don't want your your chicken to be dry. So just season it. I mean, just pour like the little sauce, you know, the sauce over it like this, and just to like that. I haven't really decided what my side dish is going to be yet, but I'm thinking about just having just some salad with this. I've been kind of on a salad kick lately, maybe because it's just something quick to fix and healthy at the same time. But yeah, so that's really what I'm going to do with it is just leave it like that. And then I'm going to put it back in the um, stove for... Uh, maybe another 20 minutes and then I will take it out and check it again and see you know if it is it needs to be flipped over or anything of that nature I'll probably do it at that time so yeah that's it with this I'm going to take it and put it back into the stove and I see it has like a little juice left on there so we're going to see what happens the next go round I'm trying to think, should I really put some more juice back on there? I'll we'll just see within the next 10 minutes, I'll see. Okay, so yeah, that's that. I wanted to come and show you guys, you know, that I was checking the chicken. So it looks good, so stay tuned. Peace. Okay, guys, I am back. Now I will be taking the chicken out of the stove. I wanted to kind of um, let you all see what, what it is, how it looks. As I zoom in on it, but I didn't want it to be blurry. Okay, so that is how my chicken look. It is finished. And once again, within that hour, this chicken was done. For some reason, it don't really take chicken that much, you know, to cook. So this is how it looks, guys. Um, uh, and as you can see, give me one moment. I kind of very, really like um, using my tripod because I just know for sure that no matter what I do, you all going to see the picture. You don't have to be waiting, waiting, waiting at the focus and everything. Okay, so yeah. So this is the chicken right here. And this is how it looks. Let me see if I can bring this back. So you all can see. I want to pick up a piece. So you all can see. And what I did, I went on ahead and turned um, the chicken over. And I seasoned it just with some more... Um, the Italian dressing and I put some more hot sauce on the top of mine because my juice as you can see kind of was leaving out of the pan so yeah <laughs> so I went on ahead and I did that and so as you can see my chicken is, is on the uniform side you know I have mine's on both sides it's a nice pretty brown so yeah that is it so I want to thank you so much um you love Megs for that video um, I will be sending this one your way so you can check it out. So I want to wish everyone a great day. And remember to keep God first. And with God all things are possible. So until the next video, you all have a blessed and wonderful day. And if you make some chicken, hey, I want to see. <laughs> have a blessed one. Bye.